hello, hello. It is Thursday, everybody. Hi, Sue. Welcome, welcome. I hope you guys are all doing well. Hi, June. I just wanted to make sure my volume was up here <clears throat> on my phone. One second here, and I'll turn that down. There we go. So, how is everyone? Hi, Deb. Hi, Nancy. Oh, goodness. Who else is here? June and Taryn. Welcome. I thought I turned down the top there. Hi, Tanya. All right, you guys. Well, hello and welcome again to... Um, hi, Mary Ellen. Another week with Barb and uh, hi, Denise from Colorado. What's the weather like in Colorado? I'm just curious. Um, what's the weather like right now in Colorado? Hi, Linda. Sewing and exercising. All right. I'm glad I'm a good break for you. Thanks for sharing, Deborah. I keep cutting out. Hopefully, I'm not, uh, I'm not cutting out. I don't know. I'm, I'm plugged into, um, you know, hardwire. I'm not. I'm not on uh, wireless. Hi, Colleen. Thank you so much, you guys, for being here. Thank you for um, just taking the time out to be with me this evening. I have four more projects for you to earn uh, with a purchase with me. Um, it sounds really low. Well, let me try something else. I was on my phone, and it was on just fine. Hi, Bonnie. Um, all right. Okay, hi Sue. You guys, I'm looking at my phone because, uh, yeah. Well, hopefully it's gonna get louder. Um, I'm trying to talk loud so that you can hear me okay. Um, let's see who else is on here. I hope I'm not missing anything. Oh no, sorry that you have vertigo, Deb. Uh, cold Southern Colorado, no snow. It is so dreary here in our area of Michigan. It is just frustrating. I mean, give us some snow or give us some sunshine. One of the two, you know? So, I don't know what the scoop is. But anyway, um, all right. <laughs> I'm get See, I can hear my, um, my phone just fine. So, I'm not sure what to say um, on the others. But here's what we're going to do. We are going to um, go ahead and get started. I'm going to turn down the, the uh, camera. But welcome, everybody. Um, again, uh, some names on here are new. My name is Barb Ryder. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Ypsilanti, Michigan. And uh, I have lots of great stuff to share with you. And hopefully you'll see something that you haven't seen before um, and that you'll give it a try. Nancy says, I'm glad it's not snowing. <laughs> Sunshine would be nice. It would, Nancy. It definitely would be nice. Uh, okay, so I need to keep this where I can see it. So there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and turn down the camera, and we're going to get started, okay? All right, so we're going to start out with these two stamp sets. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Hi, Carol. Thank you for sharing. Um, let me see if I can put my phone somewhere. It's going to be right here. I'm just trying to put it somewhere so I can see the comments and keep up with everybody. But yeah, we're going to use the biggest wish. We're going to use these owls, and we're going to use the owls in a way that I hope um, they're not as cutesy, I think. Um, and I, and I, I'm hoping that I can, I'm trying to, I'm going to try to make this more of a masculine card. So, um... All right, so here's what we're going to do. I need to, what do I need? I need my celebration. So uh, how do you, you, this is in the annual catalog, all right? So our annual catalog, this is one of the free items that you can get uh, in our celebration catalog. And uh, adorable owls are like one of the first things that you see when you open up here. It's the very first thing that you can get, page four. These adorable owls. It gives you some different ideas in here. Um, and I'm going to show you another idea. 
<clears throat> okay, so you spend $50 and you can choose the owls as your um, item. So I've already got my stamps on the blocks, so I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the way. And we're going to bring in um, all the things that we need. So we're going to be using Pacific Point Gray Granite and our Craft uh, Pigment Ink White. You can tell my pad is very old, but it still works beautifully. <laughs> so those are the three colors that we're going to use. I have... Um, cardstock here I'm going to share, but yeah, let me just grab all my goodies. Let's see. I'm trying to see how much in the way that would be. Not much. Okay, that's my little basket of goodies we're going to be using there. So, let me put this over here. Okay. Um, Carol, thank you for sharing, everybody. Thanks for joining me tonight, you all. Uh, let me grab my, um, here is my ruler, and we're going to you guys will have to forgive me here. I'm trying. I have a different setup right now. Um, and so, yeah. Hi, Diana. Welcome. You had sun here in Montana, so maybe it's coming your way. Oh, I hope so. Thanks for sharing, Bobby. All right. So we have several pieces here. Um, these are Sahara Sand is the main color. So this is our base. It is the... Um, Oh, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Okay. I see I don't like that here. It's giving that shadow of that. So, yeah, we're just going <clears> to <throat> move this one more time. <laughs> oh, gosh. The joys, right? Um, okay. Hi, Veronica. Welcome. Uh, we are going to use Pacific Point, and this, can you see that beautiful texture there? This is the Cane Weave uh, folder. I've already run it through the machine. It's just easier um, when I'm doing the live. But it is one of the new folders here in the mini catalog, and um, it is the one I like the best out of the ones that we have here. The Cane Weave 3D, it's a $10 folder, and it is a 3D, so um, I have already run that through, so we're going to use that, alrighty. Now, I'm trying to decide which side I want. I think I want this side to, to show up, so I'm going to go ahead, uh, I think I'm going to use the liquid glue on this, alright, so let's just put some glue down here. And I just decided to do, I mean, I'm going to use my adhesive like I always do, which is my stamp and seal, but this will just work because it has the um, ridges from going through the folder, and I'm trying to get this so that it's a little bit even. I'm a little, little bit, there we go. Okay, that's not bad. All right. Let me just push this down so it will stay. Okay. So that's going to be the front of our card. <laughs> All right. Who else just joined? Okay. Fabulous. All right. So here is the card, and it's going to go this way right here. Um, All right. So what else do I have? This is Sahara Sand, and I have some pieces here that I've cut out. Uh, that's kind of extra, I think. And then I've got four um, squares here. So what I've done is I've actually cut some extras in case I don't like the way that this ends up stamping. So I'm going to grab my mat and my little um, scrap paper because we're going to be stamping off the pieces. Um, I'm going to use two of the owls, the one without the birth... The two without the birthday hat, so we're going to use those. Those are going to be stamped with gray granite on Sahara sand. Okie doke. So let me scoot that over and bring this in here. So, all right. So what I want is ink up this little... And I always look at my ink to make sure that it's all over, that I've got it covered well, and I do. So this little guy, I need to, I want one of these to be kind of like this, okay? 
See, it's, it's not the full owl, just a part of it. So there's that. And I want one more with this one. And I am going to just do like the part of their head poking through. Oh, see, I did not get enough ink right there. So we're going to turn this over because we've got two sides to the paper every time. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's good. That's what I wanted. See there? See the difference? We've got two, to, two that are a little bit different. And the last one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, use the one that has the little bow tie. All right. I like to clean as I go if you're watching me for the first time. If you're watching the replay, let me know that you're watching replay. And also, if you're catching this on YouTube, give me a comment. Let me know what you think of the projects as you watch them go along. All right, so there's that. So let's do this guy, and he's going to kind of go like this. All right, so there's what I have. I have these three little faces of the owls hi lynn thank you for sharing yeah i'm hoping that this is kind of a guy card um the the owl's a little bit cutesy but we can do some different things with that you know all right so we still need okay i'm going to set these aside for a minute i'm going to turn that over and now, these little pieces that I have right here, they are, I didn't tell you the measurements on these, did I? Okay, so my Pacific Point on my base card, that is normal four by five and a quarter. And then these little squares, I believe they're one and three quarter by one and three quarter, so I have three of those. And then this little square or little rectangle is one inch by one and three quarters. Now, I am going to be using the word happy, all right? That's why I chose the, um, the stamp set to go with these owls, uh, biggest wish, all righty? All right, so what I'm gonna do is ink this up, the word happy, and this will fit on my little square here. So let's, um, let me see, I think I'm good. Yep, and then I want three of these. Okay. And one more. I just, I was just safe <laughs> getting extras here. Um, and again, this is gray granite on Sahara sand. It looks really good. Those colors, that ink looks really good on Sahara sand. I'm just looking, you miss the color of those little squares, Sahara sand. The base of the card and the owls and the happies, those are Sahara sand. All right. Okay, no problem. I'm glad that you asked. I'm very thankful that you asked. Okay, so I'm going to close this up. Now, we're also going to be using... Um, the word birthday get myself situated here we're going to use the word birthday i'm done with happy and did i clean that it didn't i didn't clean that very good there we go basically you just squish it in there and this is just wet this is our stamp and chamois so it is one of my basic tools in my stamping kit um all right i'm going to pull these other stamps in here so we're done with happy um, all right, so here's what we have. I'm going to take this out of the way for a second because I think you can see it better. We have three owls. We have happy, happy, happy. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be using blender pens. And blender pens have been around for a long time. And they come in a package of three. Um they do exactly the same thing, I guess, because if you have lots of colors that you're coloring with, it is a way to move color around on your projects, if that makes sense. Hi, Shar. Thank you so much for sharing. Excuse me a minute while I go get my... Girl, you're always cooking something, Linda Bird. What are we doing here? We are going to 
do some coloring with our blender pen and with the white ink. Now I'm going to, I don't want to pull ink right off of this pad because it is a, a messy. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of my blocks and I'm just going to put it in my ink so that I get some ink on my block. Okay. See that? Okay. I don't need a ton, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to use that. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do some coloring before we put all this together. Um, and you just want to make sure that your blender pen isn't dry. And I usually do this because I can feel if it's wet. Sometimes I have one end that's wetter than the other. Um, this one looks like the one I used on my practice. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. <laughs> all right. So this blender pen has like glycerin and it's wet. So uh, for this, I'm just going to take my blender pen, grab up some of that pigment ink on there, and <clears throat> I'm going to color his eyes to give me some contrast on here. So this is an easy way, if you're not a big person, a person that likes to color much, this is an easy color. See that? Can you see? I'm all I'm doing is rubbing that right in that little open area of the eye. And let's bring this other one in here. Welcome, you guys. Hi, Carol. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. I appreciate you being here. I've got four projects for you, and you can get these free with a purchase this week through next Thursday. Um, all right, can you guys see? I'm going to bring this up closer. See the difference? Can you see the little bit of color there? Now I'm going to just get the tip of my blender pen because there is a tiny little dot right there above the dark spot. And I'm just going to put that in as white just to highlight. Okay, so that's it. Now this is going to dry a little bit lighter. So when this dries, the white will dry lighter. Now, how do you clean this? I take my scrap paper and I just roll this out. I don't do this, okay? The reason I don't do that is so I don't break the tip of my, my nice tip down. I just kind of roll it. There we go. Yeah, it is, uh, it's a neat technique, Tanya, using the pigment inks, all right? Okay, so we are done with the blender pen. Next, <coughs> I think thought that I would like to use, there is this other little piece that is in the, I don't, let's see, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like these little checky marks. Oh wait, let me grab the stamp set and show you. <laughs> see these little things right here? It really kind of coordinates with this, um, this uh, cane weave uh, background I have here, so I thought I would use it. And that's where um, one of my Pacific Point um, ideas come in, I guess. Now, because I am going to, I'm going to pull these up, okay, put this back down, and we're going to um, stamp these in Pacific Point, all right, so ink up the three little plus signs, and what I'm going to do is just give myself some Pacific Point. Sorry, I got quiet because I was concentrating there. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Just to give it something, some co uh, a color to bring in that Pacific Point. And then we're just going to take this uh, and also do a couple on our happies. And I'm trying to turn it so it doesn't look the same on every one. And let's see if I can get two down there and maybe two there. Okay, there we are. So <clears throat> I need my cleaner because this blue, when, I, when you guys use blue, hi Diane, thanks for joining us. Um, when you use blue, the blues, they tend to just kind of find their way all over your hands and everything else. That's what I have found when I hold classes. 
And so my goal is to always just clean that right up right away so that I don't have that blue going on. All right, so we're gonna move these out of the way for a second, right over there. Oh, no, not right over there because we're gonna take this <laughs> and we're gonna um, stamp a birthday. And this piece I have for the birthday. And this piece is uh, two and a half by one inch, all right? And I'm doing it on here in case I don't get it dark enough for the inside. I don't want to, you could use your Stamparatus, but I didn't, you know, everybody doesn't have the Stamparatus. That's something that I would love to do a technique class on. I want to make sure this is nice and dark. And then I'm going to come in here and the word birthday is going to fit right on my paper. All right, I'm just pushing down, making sure I've got it nice and firm and it just fits, okay? It's actually a little bit over the top. So let me see, I have another piece here. I'm gonna try one more time, and I'm gonna get my head in here a little closer, see if I can get this better, okay? I'm going to, hopefully, let's see here, where am I? Okay, let's do this, Barb. I think we're gonna try it right here and see, I probably could have cut it an eighth of an inch bigger, See, I cut it off a little bit there too. All right, so how about, I'll cut yours bigger. So if you do get this card kit with a purchase with me, um, you will be able to stamp it better. But I'm gonna do birthday right here, okay? All right, that looks great. Then, you know what else I think I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead. I've got, I'm going to do the, the happy again. We're, let's go back to the gray granite. I love this stamp set because of how you can overlap and how you have different fonts, um, large and small in the same words. And then happy, I'm just going to, let's see here. What do I want to do? Let's come right in here and stamp that just kind of right above the birthday, all right? Okay, there we are. So now let's go ahead and put this together and see what we have here. All right, see how this all comes together. Now, another tip for you, um, whenever you're using the blue inks, see how much blue is still on there? I like to use my scrap paper and get as much ink off before I actually go into my um, cleaner because your cleaner will stay clean for longer. <laughs> um, hi, Elaine. Hello there. Um, okay, got that. Let's clean the happy again because I used that in the gray granite. And I already cleaned that little guy. All right, there we are. <clears throat> Put these out of the way. Yep, we're not using those. And then these are extra. Fabulous. Let's put our card together and see what it looks like. So here's my idea. I'm going to, let's do that. So pull all my pieces in. And you know, I like to, um, what do I want to, I like to um, lay them down and, and see where I want them first. But here's what I'm going to do. We've got these little owls. So how do I want them to be? So these two are the same. So let's see. Um, let's see. How about, let's start here. Let's do this here. And that's going to have a happy. And then over here. And that's going to have a happy. And this one will go here. And this will have a happy. See there? You guys see what I got going on? It looks a little busy when I look in the camera, but it's not. It really isn't, okay? So what we're going to do, some is going to be flat, some is going to be popped up. So let's grab those dimensionals and let's grab our Stampin' Seal Plus. And the reason I have that is, um, let's see here. I want to, what do I want? Let's pop up the happies. So let's take our little, um, our little uh, owls. And I always, like I said, I like to place these down first so I know where I'm putting things. 
And there we are. Okay, and uh, there's my mistake one. But who would know? Nobody. All right, don't tell my secret, you guys. All right, so let's put this little guy down. And then we're gonna pop up the happies, the words, the words. So we'll line that up there. Um, grab a couple of dimensionals for each one. Let's see, you guys. Thank you for joining me, everybody. I know there's some more people that jumped on here. Um, I um, am sharing several different stamp sets and ideas. This is kind of a little more on the masculine side um, because, uh, you know, these little owls are just the cutest things with that free paper, which is the Dandy Designs. I love that paper. Um, but I wanted to do something that wasn't pastel colors or flowers with this little owl. And this is what I came up with. Okay. So there we are. Bring it up closer so you can see. So happy, 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 happy birthday. Now, I guess, you know what we need to do actually, let's bring this blue back in here. And let me find my little stamp that I threw in here. And let's just do some of those fun little um, markings here. Oh, let's see. Let's do a couple more there. Just give it a birthday feel, right? With the, with the like, confetti for the birthday. All right, there's card number one. So again, you can get these um, projects that I'm doing. I just lost my little dot. <laughs> I was pushing too hard to clean it. Um, you can get these projects as we go along. And again, you can, um, you'll can you be able to get them for free if you purchase with me on my online store. There's a link that's available with the code that you need. Um, but that's the first card, okay? Ta-da! All right, let's go on to card number two. And I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay. Card number two is one that I have not shown the stamp set yet. Um, we haven't, we have not used this stamp set, I'm sorry, with, you know, I have not shared it before and in the any of my um, lives and uh, there, there's two these are the two more that are in um, let me grab my celebration again these are two more stamp sets that are in here that I don't think I've seen much with them okay so one of them is sending support and this is a sentiment set and this is a great one for uh, doing um, sympathy cards or just letting somebody know that, you've, that you're thinking of them and you feel for them and you understand what they're doing, you know, that you care about them. So it's a support set. That's what this one is. But this is also a $50, uh, with a $50 purchase, you can get this one for free. And then the next one that we're using is this one right here. It's called In the Country in the country okay we're going to be using this one and i hope that you'll like the easy uh way that i'm doing this one so that is the two um sets we're using now of course you could use this one and then use other sentiments you could use other images and use these sentiments uh, i just wanted to let you um, see something done with this one here particularly uh, we're going to be using um, the deco rectangle dies. I am I already have the pieces cut out, but this is what um, I have used for the um, pieces I've cut out. We're also going to be using um, our pencils. These are the watercolor pencils, and uh, they're the ones that have uh, black and gray, brown. Um, anyway, it has 13 pencils in that one. 
we're going to be using Old Olive. Uh, we're going to be using this stamp that's in, uh, in the set. And then two sentiments that are from the sending support. Okay? So, let's get those going here. All right. So, let me show you what we've got. So, I used a lot of uh, $50 free items on this one. Okay? So, um, this color is soft sea foam. And again, I think this one can be used as a masculine card and you'll see why. But this is a, again, the basic uh, eight and a half by five and a half um, scored at four and a quarter. Um, that's gonna be our base. And then let me grab these pieces. This is um, one of the papers. I love it. I love this too. Uh, right here, page six, Dainty Flowers. Now, I did not buy the Dainty Flowers coordinating set, but in the mini catalog, which is the, the purple catalog, you there is a stamp set that coordinates with this paper. Um, I have not, I've done several cards and not used that stamp set because I don't have it. So I love this paper. All right, so here's what we have. I've uh, cut one rectangle, and this is basic white. I have cut another rectangle in basic white. I have a piece of vellum, and this is, whoops, uh, two and three quarters by four and a quarter. I have a little extra piece that was that I had cut that was a just a scrap and that's like a quarter of an inch and that's five and a five inches. That's gonna go on the inside. And then I have these two pieces. Now here's the opposite side of these two pieces, but I want these. Now see, doesn't that look kind of masculine? Those colors? So what do I have? This one is five by three and three quarter. This one is five by one and three quarters okay so let's do some mounting let's put this a little bit together and then we're going to do our stamping okay so let me grab my silicone mat this is a awesome tool so that i don't get sticky everywhere when i put my things together this is going to go here so here's my seal stamp and seal Actually, this is Seal Plus. I've learned that I love it. One of the things, make sure that you're right side up in your, um, what do you want, your images. If there's a direction on any time you do your designer papers, make sure that you've got the right, the right, uh, they're up the right way. <laughs> okay. Now, vellum. That's actually going to go here to kind of soften those colors a little bit. And I, this will actually go on top of here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive right in this area right here to hold my vellum. And uh, let's see. Let's kind of get centered there. Okay, just like that. Now, see, you can see. See, that's why I want to put it where it's going to be hidden because it, it shows through the vellum. Okay. All right. Now look at how nice this looks on this seafoam. Oh my gosh, it's so great. All right, let's go ahead and just put this down. And we're gonna do stamping in just a second. Now, if you do place an order with me of um, at least the $50, you get your free item from the Stampin' Up. You will get um, two of each of these cards along with envelopes. Um, and you're gonna get uh, some um, gems to go with this as a gift. So, all right, so there's what I have. So I'm gonna set this aside now, and we're gonna go to our stamping. Okay, I'm gonna come back with my little um, paper here, and that's gonna go on the inside. So we'll put that on in a minute. Okay, Old Olive. We're gonna ink up this whole image with Old Olive. When they're bigger like this, I like to take my ink pad and I like to ink it up like this, okay? Go on top 
just like that. Making sure that this is inked up really well and just turning it in the light, making sure I have ink everywhere. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna close that up for now. And uh, I'm going to stamp that on this uh, rectangle. Now, when you do, if you do this exact card, you wanna make sure that whatever it is that you wanna see, you make sure that you get this on the rectangle because the rectangle is a little smaller than the image itself. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to stamp kind of down here a little bit like that. Okay. And this is what we have. Okay. It doesn't look like much right now, but when we use the color pencils, it's going to look amazing. Alrighty. Again, I always like to clean my stamps as I go because I'll be in big trouble if I don't <laughs> with getting my arms in something or whatever. So let's clean this up. Okay. All right. There we go. Now, before I move on, I'm going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and stamp on this piece. And again, I'm going to use the old olive. And this one says sending loving thoughts and prayers. Okay. It just looked like it went perfect with this um, scenery. Okay, so I'm hoping, I'm gonna stamp it on here and see what it looks like. Okay, all right. When they're skinny, I always just like to be careful. And then when you stamp this, if you're going to recreate this, you wanna make sure that you are down at the bottom of your rectangle, at the towards the bottom. Okay, so here we go. I hope I'm straight. Ugh, look what I did. Well, here's the deal. We're gonna try this again. And do that. And did you know that you can use your blender pen to clean off the edges? Um, because it is, a, you know, it's liquid, you can take this and kind of pull off where you have got ink around the edges. See that? It's just pulling that color right off of there for me. So I don't make any crazy, um, rock my stamp and get these lines all over. All right, let me see. I think I've got it pretty good. Oh, got some down here. But this is a tip if you didn't realize this. And you don't have wet wipes or something like that where you can um, get to it. There you go. The red gets all over for you, Tanya. Yeah. Okay. So there is um, a little bit of clean. All right. So let's try this again. And let me just see here. Maybe. I'm looking at it, guys. <laughs> I want to get it straight. Okay. Okay, let's hope I got it. Let's do here, let's try this again. Let's make this work, Barbara. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's gonna be the best I can do. <laughs> it's a handmade card, you guys, right? All right, so let's go ahead. I am seeing weird comments. Okay, and looks like I'm missing a whole bunch of comments, but you guys just keep commenting, okay? I will see them when we're done. I do have a giveaway for everybody that shares tonight. I have a giveaway for you. I'm not going to do our little um, thing tonight where I do all the numbers because it just takes me, it takes too long away from our stamping time. However, um, I will go back and go through all my list of who shared, and then I will post who the winner is. All right, so... What's going to happen with this, you guys? This is the better one. So we're going to take this adhesive here. This is actually going to just mount. Let's do it over to the side, kind of. Okay. So there's what we have. And that's the reason you wanted to stamp it at the bottom. All right. So right now it just looks like lots of green, right? But we're going to take our pencils and we're going to do some easy, fast coloring. 
And the colors that I want are the brown, early espresso, and it's cool because the names are right there on the they're on the car, uh, pencils. So there's early espresso. Um, and let's see, I want the gray. Um, and I want the Pacific Point blue. Alrighty. So those are the colors I want to use. Now, where's my paper? Let's grab this paper here. Uh, well, I guess it's probably easier if you, if to, for you guys to see it, it's easier this way. So what am I going to do? The first thing I'm going to do is I want this to look a little bit like dirt. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to take my brown and I am going to color this all with my early espresso. Okay. Now remember, when you are um, using the, um, oh, what is it? The old olive, when you're doing this, okay, that is water-based. And so um, remember that when you put your blender pen to this or your aqua painter or your painters that we have, um, that is going to, you know, activate the ink. So you just have to be careful in that. Okay, all right, so there's my coloring. No big deal, just kind of colored brown. Uh, and then the um, basic gray, I am going to actually go right over my fence with this gray so it does not look green. Okay, and uh, easy coloring. I mean, just go right over top of it. You don't want to use your uh, alcohol markers to do this. Um, you don't want to use your, um, unless you stamp this all in Memento Black, then you could use your alcohol markers. But to me, that was just too much black. I, and, I, and when you see what I'm going to do next um, with the blender pen, you'll understand why I wanted to color this green. Now, if you look at this close enough, there are little fence lines all down through here. <laughs> So, but they're really tiny, so if you don't get to them, that's fine. It'll be all right. Okay, so there's what I've got so far. Is it coming to life? Coming to life a little bit? Yeah? Okay. Uh, next, we're going to take this uh, blue. I think we'll wait. We're going to wait on the blue. Now, let's grab our blender pen, okay? And again, make sure that you don't have any other color in there in your blender pen and then you're just going to start rubbing over your old olive ink so can you see that how that put the color in there so all i'm doing is just pulling that color um just going right over the green um, area there same thing here i'm just going to pull just go right across. And so what that does is it gives me a little bit of color from where I stamp. It pulls that color onto the lawn or the meadow or whatever this is. <laughs> it makes it, it fills it in is what happens. This just fills the green right in. And I don't even have to use the green pencil. That's why I didn't pull a green pencil out here. You guys follow me? Okay. Fabulous. All right. Can you see that? See how it's just coming to life? Okay. Next, we are going to, um, we're going to put a little bit of blue in our sky. And I'm just going to very lightly rub this Pacific Point. It is a dark blue, and I'm just very, very lightly going in between the trees okay to kind of make a sky very lightly now if you see this in person you could leave it just like this but i want to show you how this just using those blender pens makes this come to life okay i don't know i'm going to bring this up here i don't know if you can see but can you see the little hue there you go a little hue of blue 
and that's what it looks like. Now we're going to take the blender pen and we're going to kind of just go over top of this. And I want you to see how it darkens that up. Can you see that? Can you see how it darkens up the sky? So you can leave it or you can do a little bit of the blender pen to make it a little darker with that blue contrast. I wanted a little more blue because we have this blue in our background here. Okay, that looks fabulous, you guys. Um, okay, I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna darken this up a little bit on my road here. Okay, now, there we go. Can you see that? So that didn't take too much effort. I hope that you like that. Um, I am, so now we're ready to put everything together. You didn't know that? Awesome. So good, 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 good. So you learned a little something new there. Awesome. Uh, okay, so let's just go ahead um, and put these pencils back in their box. Now we do sell two, another box of pencils. Let me see, I have them right here. So there's two different ones in the catalog. Um, this one is assortment two and this is assortment one, okay, but totally different colors in here than are in here so You can whatever works for you, but that's a great coloring medium So now we're going to take some dimensionals. We're going to pop this up and uh, Let's see here Let's do that and uh, bring this over how many of you, oh my gosh, how many of you get these these silly things everywhere in your house? I do. So, yeah. All right, so now this is just going to go right, bring this down a little bit, right like that, into the center of my image. See that? Isn't that great? Now, you could use this as a masculine card too, you guys. Um... But yeah, that's awesome. And the next thing, it says sending loving thoughts and prayers. And on the inside, I'm going to stamp, it's okay not to feel okay. Because usually, you know, you just never know. Um, it's not a very big sentiment. Um, and then I would just, you know, do my signature and all that kind of stuff. I am going to put it like right here not really dark but then I can do my writing next to it uh, when I get ready to send it out thank you I'm glad you guys like this um, I just wanted to come up with something that was different and show you how to use that now when you've got a tiny little scrap like this and you're gonna be putting adhesive on it again I can't tell you how much I love my silicone mat and use that for um, putting on um, Adhesive on these small things. So in case I get adhesive Off the edge like there I can this one you can flip it over and put it there But that way I'm not getting um, sticky all over my workspace. Uh, I'm just going to take this and We're going to put this kind of down here in the middle and it's just an extra piece <laughs> I had it. I don't know that you're going to have it in your kit. You might have a bigger piece um, But yeah, just give that little extra right there so that it kind of brings the inside or the outside to the inside and there you go card number two okay that one's probably the most involved i guess maybe because of the coloring but it looks so good all right uh let's go ahead i'm going to clean my stamp here and we're going to go to card number three thank you thank you thank you guys i'm glad you like it Again, when I saw these colors, when I flipped over the pretty uh, paper, I thought, oh my gosh, those work really great. Okay, card number two. Let me show you um, where this was my original design I did for a swap. So let me just show this one to you. Um, and again, I didn't get any swaps back using this stamp set, so... Here is another sample for you where I used um, the 
uh, uh, Smoky Slate, <laughs> Smoky Slate, and did this one and used some of the dots. But I also used three different layers of the rectangle dies on this one. So, just wanted to show you that's the only other sample I have. That one just, people just didn't give me many samples on that, huh? Okay, card number three. We're going to use Fragrant Flowers. This bundle is so great. Now, I know I did this one last week, but you guys, this has so much potential that I had to use it again. So, uh, we're going to use uh, our uh, Memento Black. And uh, this is Petal Pink. And the parts and pieces, I'm going to pull those out. Eight and a half, five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, folded over. And this is a stamp set that's in the mini catalog. Um, the, and so it coordinates with our beautiful um, paper in the celebration right here that you can get for free with a $50 purchase. So buy this bundle, get your order to products to $50. You, will, you can choose this paper and have lots of extra. Uh, and then also get all these this card kits from me, and um, you'll also get uh, free package of gems. All right, so what are we doing? We are using this, and we're going to use the word friend. And I think, yeah, I already got that on a block. Or the word love. The word love. <laughs> I said I, we were going to use friend, didn't I? All right, so told you that one. All right, what else do we have here? This piece. Uh, let me grab my ruler uh, this is three and seven eighths by five and one eight basic black then I have a piece of white that is um, three and three quarter by five I have another piece of white that's four by two and three quarters and then I've taken some of the designer paper okay and just two two pieces. Uh, this one is three and a half. That's three and a half by one and a quarter. Okay, three and a half by one and a quarter. Those two pieces. Now I have taken the paper and I have already pre-cut this piece right here. And look at that. See how the die cuts these little pieces out right there, and those openings. It's awesome. And then listen. Do not throw out these little pieces like this because we're going to use it. And I'm going to show you how you can use all of these papers. You don't want to throw them out. Okay. All right. So what are we doing? <laughs> this piece is going to get mounted onto the basic black. Okay. So let's do that. And again, this is just, um, you're just, I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see it a little better maybe. Um, you have just an eighth of an inch around this one, okay? So, let's do this. I'm just trying to make sure I have it even all the way around so you can see the black. Okay, there we go. All right, there's that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these two pieces and um, we are going to go ahead... And this darker piece, actually, this is kind of going to go here. So I want to make sure this is going to go about right here. Okay. I hope I'm not too far up on that. Okay. So there's that. And then this one. Now you could do this in, um, you could so do this in the purples and just use the purple colors in the, dye, the paper. And then this one is going to come on this side and come right there. And I do see that I got that a little too far up, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Okay, there we go. All right, there's what we got. Two pieces go like that. Next, we have this piece of white. And this is basically just going to go right there, right over top. Kind of in the middle of these two pieces. Uh, let's see here. 
and I want to make sure that I've got some showing on all four, you know, on the sides, just like that. Beautiful. Next, this piece that will already be cut out for you, you'll have this already cut out if you purchase uh, and get these, this kit when you purchase from me. Um, and so I am popping this up. All right. And let's see here. Uh, I'm going to grab, I've got some mini glue dots here too. I'm going to grab those over here on the side because those will fit better kind of right there and right here on this piece. Yeah, that works. I think I'm going to grab one more because this little piece right here needs a little dimensional. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And then let's take these all off. Let's see here. Really nothing to say. I mean, this will be die cut for you. And you just need to have a black ink pad for this one. Now, what I want to do is make sure that I have the... Um, oh, I'm going to turn it this way, you guys. Because I want it like this. <laughs> is that what I want? Yeah. So I kind of want this um, opposite of what, you know, how I have the light here and there. I was thinking that I would put that, I don't know, let's see, I'm going to turn it back this way and take a look. See if I like it this way. I guess that's the same thing if I turn it this way. Ah, ha, ha, right? <laughs> oh, Barbara. Okay, um, well, you know what? See here, I left two, I left more space here than here. So, let us, we're just going to do this, okay? Barb, just put it down. Make it happen. There we go. Alrighty. And uh, I am turning it this way because I want to do uh, some gems on here too. Now, this little die is also in the stamp set. Now, I didn't open this up and show you, did I? Um, this has all the dies. This cuts out designer paper and this cuts out designer paper. And... Um, You got interrupted. I'm sorry, Tanya. Come back and watch a replay, hon. It'll be on YouTube also. I'll upload it there. But you've got this great label here, and that fits the thanks and the hello. And then you have a tiny one and a longer one. It's, it does friend or love. I just thought this looked like a love card because if you've got a girlfriend, you could put love and then on the inside um, talk about thinking of you or sympathy or anything to that effect. And so... Um, I'm just going to bring in my little mat so that I have something to stamp on. I have the word love, and we're going to try to stamp on this, okay? The word love. There we go. Got that inked up. And let's uh, move that over here. And this is going to get stamped onto here. Um, let's see. What do I want to do? I think... I'm going to, um, I'm going to stamp it to the left. Sorry my if my head gets in the way. Because I'm going to put a gem right there. That's why I went to the left. And I am going to be using the champagne rhinestones because they're so pretty with this um, petal pink and the uh, calypso coral that are in the designer paper. It is great DSP. I love this paper. It's so amazing. All right, definitely I want the mini um, little dimensionals on here. And I think I called them glue dots earlier, didn't I, guys? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So the word love right here. This is going to go right there. Oh, it looks beautiful. Just like that. Okay. And then let's go ahead and grab our gems. And you can see that I ha don't have too many of those left, but we are going to use these. And I need my um, take your pick tool. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take one of the medium gems. There's large, medium, and small here. I'm going to put one right there. Oh, my gosh. These gems are just going to make this pop. Um, and then I'm just going to take the... These guys, I'm going to put three gems here. Just line them right 
right up like this so beautifully like that I have a dimensional stuck on my little guy my take your pick tool all right look at this it's fabulous amazing beautimous uh, okay so let us take this and move it put it away so I'm not getting gems everywhere come on no I can't do it okay all right so let's go ahead and put this on the inside of our card not the inside Barb this is the front of your card <laughs> oh. all right this goes here and just look at that look at that that is so gorgeous is that not pretty look at that you guys it's beautiful now on the inside okay remember I said do not do not discard these pieces because they are very valuable so let's go ahead we're going to put some adhesive on here and this is going to go on the inside of our card okay and I'm just going to put this at the very bottom you could put it at the bottom what about the top should we put it at the top let's put it at the top I think let's go ahead and put it right at the top of our card there now look at that is that not gorgeous and you could um, put other pieces in here, put your sentiments in here, um, write your sentiment. But how beautiful is that card? And then when you open it, yes, you have something beautiful there, right? Yes, you should use all the bits and pieces. It, they're awesome. So there is card number three. All right. It looks very detailed but in, and hard, but it was not hard at all, right? Okay, there's card number three. Card number four, our last card. Let's, um, let me get all those pieces here. See what we're doing. Okay. We're going to use our regular old rhinestones for this one. And, sorry, my hands are like right in the way. Let me grab all this. <laughs> all right. Now, if you want to hang around just a few more minutes after this card is complete... I'm going to show you some of the, the cards that we did at our one-day retreat last Saturday, which was amazing. Uh, we had a blast, and um, it was a very full day. Some people weren't used to stamping that long during the day or at one time, but we made it. We made it happen, right? Okay, so we are going to use a couple stamp sets. We're using, um, first of all, we're going to use Orchid Oasis for our ink. We're using the Something Fancy, and this I love because you have all these wonderful dyes that are just amazing, okay? And uh, then all of the sentiments. We're also going to be using the Dragonfly Garden. This is in the annual catalog, and some of you I know have this, and this has a punch that goes with it, but we're not using the punch. And we're going to use the Something Fancy to kind of go with it. All right, so I don't think I took my... Did I not do my, I guess I didn't put these on blocks. All right. How about that, Barbie? Um, let me grab some blocks and I want, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I actually, hmm. So I use the dies in here, but I think I might, I think I might use one of these sentiments uh, in here instead of in here. So what do we have? We have some more of the some more of the designer paper that is free, and uh, this one comes where it's um, this size all on one end and on another end. So I've cut this down. Uh, this is actually three by five. I have a piece of the Orchid Oasis paper cardstock. And this one is um, 11 by three and a half. We also have a piece of basic white that is five and a quarter by three and a quarter. Fresh freesia, which is in the designer paper. It's four and, um, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I have some scrap here because we're gonna use this uh, punch and we're going to come in here 
and punch one of these out. There we go. Done with that. Yours will already be punched if you get this as a kit. All your dies will be done. We're also using the dragonfly trinkets, you guys. They're so stinking cute to go with this uh, designer paper and this um, annual catalog set. Okay, so let's get this here. There's that. Now, what do I want to say? I think I want... Um, for a friend. I don't think the other ones will fit. Will this fit? You are an inspiration? Nope. Eh, barely. Maybe it will fit, but I don't think I'm going to use that one. Well, I do know this. We're going to use these little guys. So let me grab some uh, blocks. I thought I already had a... I guess I just got busy and um, thought I was all done prepping and missed getting those. Um, so we're going to use that. And for a true friend... Let's see, I'm gonna do for a true friend. I do think I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. Let me grab another block for that. All right, <clears throat> so let's take our Orchid Oasis. This is a very easy card. Just ink that up, making sure, ooh, I really went to town, didn't I? And I hardly even touched it. All right, let's see if I can do this without getting it a mess. Um, let's see, let's do this. I think I'm going to come down here and put this down here. Okay. All right, that's good. And, uh, for the inside of the card, <coughs> excuse me, this piece right here is the inside of the card. And we're going to put these little dragonflies. Um, and I'm going to go off my page. So I always like to have like... I said before, the scrap paper here. So ink this up. What designer paper is that in card three? Uh, card three. That is the floral, um, that is the favored flowers, the backs of favored flowers. Um, who, Diane asked that question. So yeah, it's the back side, right? This one and this one. The darker one and the lighter one. All right, so I am going to do dragonflies and then lighter dragonflies. I'm going to ink it up again and stamp it off because I want it to even be lighter, kind of going up the page. See there, I've got dragonflies going up my paper. And I, one of the tricks I know I've shared before, but if you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. One of the things, did you realize that Wink of Stella will act, um, color these darker colors wonderfully? So I'm going to take Wink of Stella and I'm going to come in and just color my little dragonflies here. And what happens when they're darker colors, the Wink of Stella will pull that color and it's like you're um, using uh, your ink and making uh, making it colored. I, I hope you can see, uh, I'll bring that back up in a second, and then hopefully you'll be able to see that there's a little bit of color in the wings of these dragonflies and they also sparkle because that is what makes it so cool. All right, let me bring it up to the camera so you can see if I can get it to do it sparkle in here. I don't know. Let me, there you go. See that Wink of Stella in there? Plus it filled in the, um, the leaves a little bit. Okay, so there we go. That's going to be on the inside of our card. And so this is just folded right in half. And so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put this on the inside of the card. Alrighty just like so make sure i get it centered now again i haven't mentioned it in a while and i don't want to just keep you know <laughs> saying it every five seconds however this is um, a free class that you can get by purchasing fifty dollars with me on my online store the link is in the notes, and you just follow that link, and uh, you'll be able to um, purchase the $50, and you'll get eight cards for free um, from me. So, 
So this is the front. So this is the back of my card. So what's going to happen is this gets mounted onto here, just like that. Now, this is one of the cards that we did at our um, one day retreat. And uh, let's put that right to the top, all the way to the top. We did 16 cards, you guys. I mean, we did some major stamping that day. Um, all right, so there's that. There's your card, okay? That's what you got so far. All right, <clears throat> we're done stamping. Now, I have this little guy, but this is gonna get mounted onto here, so let's put some adhesive um, right in the middle here. And that is going to go here. I love how we can, um, you know, like layer our uh, punches and um, dies so that they just look really cool, you know? Um, all right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and this is gonna get mounted like right over the, the side, just to the side a little bit. I am gonna go ahead, I am gonna put this flat. So make sure that when you put this down that you are not getting too far over uh, off the edge. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to just kind of put this right here. Now, I did not pop this up, and uh, the reason for that is, remember I said we're going to use our little um, dragonflies? So, we're going to use some mini glue dots. They work fabulous whenever you're putting something like material, um, let's see, um, you know, uh, ribbons to paper, um, any kind of mediums to paper. So I'm just gonna put this right on the glue dot, my little um, dragonfly. And if you have some that sticks out in the, in the opening where it's gonna be sticky on the front, just flip it over, it works great. So we're gonna put one dragonfly here. See, that's why I made sure to stamp down a little bit. And then we're going to also take another dragonfly, and these, um, I don't think I mentioned, these are in the mini catalog. Now, you could also very easily take the, <clears throat> if you have this stamp set, you could use your punch and punch out. There's a small little dragonfly that punches out. I used it last week. Um, or no, I didn't. I used these last week on our little calendar uh, for last week's um, class. Um, and then let's get this little dragonfly here. Uh, should we, let's, let's do this one this way. Okay. So you got two dragonflies on here, but I just thought it needed some more sparkle. So I wanted to add some <coughs> of the, um, these guys <laughs> just to give it some more sparkle. All right. Oh, there's one lone gem right there. So we're going to use it and, uh, so let's go ahead. I've got this little one by itself. We're going to put some sparkle around the card. I'm stuck there. There we go. So uh, let's put, um, hmm, how about if we just put one right there? Let's get a big one and put in between these flowers. So uh, let's, hmm, right there. And uh, let's go ahead with another medium, this medium one, um, and come right there. All right, so, and those are basic gems, uh, the basic rhinestones. But then it gives you a little bit of sparkle along with your pretty silver that you have for your dragonflies flying into the paper that you can get for free with the celebration, right? Um, and then you open it and you, and you put your sentiment in there and that is your fourth card. Now remember, all the parts that are die cut or punched or and cut, those will all be um, available for you. You don't have to worry about that, um, but you can use any sentiment. See, this is a stamp set where really you could just use any sentiment. Um, and I, I try to do these in such a way that if you don't have the exact stamp set, you might have something that will work, or of course you might want the stamp set <laughs> that I used. And so use that as your purchasing so that you can get your free stuff out of the celebration. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm just looking at the comments down here. All right, let's move this. Now I'm going to bring all the cards in again and let's see. 
So there is card number four. See if I can get them all in here, okay? Um, hang on. And uh, card number three. And card number two. And card number one. So let me see if I can try to get them all in here. Didn't have to use my bone folder. Um, well, anyway, you get the idea. You can get it in there. You guys can see it pretty good. Um, but yeah, a variety here um, using different stamps, using different coloring mediums. Uh, no blender pens tonight. No, uh, not blender pens, uh, blends. I didn't use any blends. So yeah, you can easily do that um, <clears throat> without, you know, using the pencils or um, the pencils or markers, whatever. There's a lot of different ways that you can do coloring with the Stampin' Up! product. All right, you guys, thank you for hanging out with me. It is 816. Um, oh yeah, I told you guys, if you hung out, I would show you the cards that we did. Um, I'll show them really quick. I guess I'll turn the camera back down just so you can see them, okay? So let's go back down here and we'll move these. And uh, bring these over here out of the way. All right. Okay, so here is the citrus set. Okay, you can see the embossing in the back. And then we um, did the lemons on this one. Here we did the oranges with the flowers. And we stamped the flowers. Here uh, we use, uh, we featured the something fancy. Um, uh, bundle. Let's see, did we do anything on the inside of that one? Oh, and the little piece of designer paper left just to do something cute on the inside. Here is another one with uh, something fancy. Uh, I might have demonstrated this one already. Yeah, I did. But this one is using inspired thoughts with uh, some of the by the by the bay or seaside bay uh, designer paper. I really like this card, you guys. This uses the textured paint. I did use that quite a bit. This is the Flora, Fancy Flora designer paper. Um, and then the um, red and the cream uh, in the country bouquet. And by the way, the punch is already not orderable on the country bouquet. That's why I did not show you anything more with that one. Um, I don't want to show you things that you can't get. You know what I mean? So if you don't already have it, you're not going to be able to get it for quite some time. Uh, this one is also using the pick, a pick take a pick, mm, what's it called? Like pick a punch, but it's the two, it's like a tag and then a scallop, but that's using the fancy flora. Oh, we did these cute little owl cards. Um, there was just, you it depended on what you got. Um, but yeah, I think I had demonstrated this one before. Look at this. We used some markers and uh, we went direct to the car, the stamp and did two different colors on the sentiment. And then look at this one. This one is a um, original design from me. A lot of these actually, um, I kind of just pulled my own ideas. It's I love it when you get your juices flowing and you can be creative, you know. This one, oh my gosh, I told you guys before, I love this new shimmer paper. Um, it, there's fresh freesia and um, soft succulent and gold. Here is the paper that I used tonight, just using, this is with Highland Heather, or fresh freesia, I'm sorry, uh, and using the trio um, Baker's Twine that's in the mini catalog. This is shaded, uh, shaded something, flowers. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, that's what this is with the double oval punch. This is a cool technique um, using two pieces of designer paper and creating two cards. You can see what I did there. See, that's the bottom. That's the bottom on this one. And then this is a country floral, the bouquet, country bouquet. And there's the inside of that one. And last, I love this combination of color, you guys. I really love it. It is um, the um, sweet sorbet. This is the ribbon that's in the the sweet um, and petal pink. 
and it just goes so pretty together. Cr crumb cake uh, around the edges here uh, behind that. But yeah, isn't that great? I love it. So those are the cards we did, um, and, and including, you know, uh, actually this is the one up here. This is the one um, that we did for um, the one-day retreat. So, yeah, nice, nice time, good stuff. Um, let's see here. There we go. I just want to say thank you again. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, I appreciate you guys all being here. I will post the winner after I go through all the comments and um, see who shared. Um, and I do have a package of gems for you. Um, and I'll show that when I post uh, who the winner is. Have a great night. Many blessings to you. And I'll see you next time. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.